Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm your host, Ashley Mazurvi. It's Medical Monday here at East Cooper Medical Center and today we're visiting one of our faves, Dr. David Geyer. But this time around, we're going to get a little advice on how to reinvigorate your workout routine in order to avoid future injuries. Medical Monday, sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. Joining us today, Dr. David Geyer. We're talking about getting active. I was just telling you before we came on about the fact that I'm trying to train for a half marathon and I just started this morning, which I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling good, but it's, it's I gotta get my mind right. Talk about what you need to do, the steps you need to take in order to start switching up your routine. Absolutely. I think the key is is to start slowly. One, it helps with your motivation, makes it more likely you're going to come back for the second day and the third day, but it's also going to basically keep you from getting hurt. If you go out too fast, too much that first day, first couple of days, your body's not ready for it. You start to develop those aches and pains that then turn into real injuries that keep you from training at all. Okay, I kind of look back to you know my old days and I'm like, oh, I can do this, I'm fine. And then I wake up and I feel like a train hit me. So what are some of the things that I can do that are proactive to make sure, I mean, I know water is probably a huge component. What are some of the other things, stretching? I feel the same way, <laughs> believe me. Now I think stretching after the workout is really good uh, to, to keep your muscles and joints loose. I think uh, some of the things like foam rollers and even massage can be really mm -hmm. helpful because as we get older and really past your early 20s, your body doesn't respond as well as it did when you were a kid. So you're saying I'm so, not in my 20s. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> didn't say kidding. that. I'm kidding. Okay. Not in your high school yes, years. Maybe. Gotcha. All right, so talk about some of the ways, though, that you take people from their 30s, 40s, and up, you know, if they do end up getting injured, what are some of the things you're seeing? I think the, the what we see is is overuse injuries in that scenario. So it could be bones, like a pre precursor to a stress fracture, or it could be a muscle and tendon, like a tendonitis. These nagging injuries that aren't bad enough that keep you from walking or keep mm -hmm. you from you know doing what you want to do, but they hurt just enough that they you don't do it as well as you want. And the more that goes on, it starts getting worse and worse, and again can turn into a real injury. Is that what you see a lot with runners? Absolutely. Like where you put them in the boot. Yeah, it, I mean, if it's a like foot, ankle, mm -hmm. you know, even lower leg injury that's just an overuse, sometimes, yeah, if for any other reason, one, that helps the injury heal, but two, keeps them off of it and maybe doing more damage. What I always wonder, you know, the difference between icing something and putting heat on it. When do you do those? Almost all the time, the answer is ice. There's some uh, times like before a workout when you're trying to warm up your muscles that heat might be good, but heat's gonna increase inflammation to whatever body part you put it on, which is sort of counterproductive. Yes, it feels good, but it's probably gonna increase the swelling of whatever body part that is. So when in doubt, ice is the way to go. I have my heat warmer on even during summer. So that might be a lot of the reason that I'm having some back problems sometimes. Okay, talk about though, um, what your recommendations as far as, or things to look for um, when you feel like something's not right, but you don't want to jump the gun, uh, when should they actually come to see you? I think the first thing would be to stop whatever it is that's aggravating the injury. If it's running, take a day off, take a few days off. You don't have to quit exercising, do something else, ride the stationary bike or swim and see if it gets better. You can try ice and anti-inflammatories and you know wrapping it and see if that gets better. If it's not, go see somebody, go see a doctor. But I think the big question you can ask yourself is, is that pain limiting your ability to do what you want to do as well as you want to do it? So you may be able to run on flat ground and eh, it doesn't hurt so bad. But then when you go to run up hills, you start getting mm -hmm. pain in the front of your knee. If it's keeping you from doing it as well as you want, that's when you should go get it checked out. Real quick, um, you see it in the news all the times with people getting injured, they get on pain pills. What I love about what you do here is you're big on rehab. I mean, that's key. And it's setting a, the standard for later on in life, right? Absolutely. I mean, pain pills just aren't the answer. It's not a good long-term solution, probably not a good short-term solution. You know, things about, you know, getting your body stronger so that you don't have that pain, you don't compensate, things like that, so that not only do you recover from injuries better, but then you can perform better later in life. All right, Dr. David Geyer, thank you so much for having us today. And of course, you can always go online for more information at eastcoopermedctr.com.